it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. Did not get home until I think it was about 1245 uh, a.m. We got to the emergency room yesterday, me and Mama. We got there before 4 o'clock, and we did not leave there until 1130. So by the time I took her home, Chris, luckily, thank God, he came to the hospital for a little bit and let me eat. Uh, and I went down to the lunchroom and had some fish and some green beans. And then when Mama got out at 1130, Chris went ahead, because yesterday I was supposed to do several things. I was supposed to do Mama's nails. I was supposed to go get her diapers and her pads and all that kind of stuff, you know, and stock her up, go shopping for her. Well, because we wound up in the emergency room, Chris went to Sam's and got diapers and stuff like that. So when I got back to her room, I wound up unpacking stuff and put stuff in its place. So I didn't get home till late last night. And then y'all seen the picture of May's leg. She actually did that her first night at work, which would have been Friday night. She fell going up a little, they have a little couple of steps going into one platform, and she was delivering food. And luckily, when she fell, she just had blueberry sauce in her hand. And so, um, anyway, that is more of a scrape than a deep cut. It really is. I know it looks bad. But when I tried to push it together, it wouldn't go together. Um, so it's really wide, like a scrape. And then it's like whatever cutter scraped her and then cut her. So um, I tried to butterfly it last night. I tried to use um, Steri strips last night. And it just would not pull together at all. I mean, it just would not come together. So all I did is clean it, and I put some silver sulfate on it because I had a girl on here tell me that that would keep it from getting infected too. We normally just put triple antibiotic on it, you know. We've been cleaning it, of course. And I've got big Band-Aids because, you know, me and Band-Aids, I got every size Band-Aid they make, just about. So I had some that was big, you know, and square, so I covered it up. But anyway, don't worry about me. Mama... Uh, has been in a lot of pain since she fell right before we went to Florida and it's been in her hips so I just wanted to make sure she hadn't broke anything or fractured anything so that's why I took her to the emergency room and she's just in a lot of pain and I was very upset with the facility yesterday I mean we pay $4,800 a month for her care it's a private place and they are supposed to take care of her and they halfway do their job just like everybody else um, it's ridiculous you know and I went in and she hadn't had a bath but she was telling me that they weren't bathing her um, when I was on vacation I don't think they bathed her and then when I got there yesterday I texted the head nurse she has bronchitis and she's sitting at home sick so when I got there the med tech was giving mama a shower all because I raised Cain. So I told him I wanted to see the roster and I wanted to see how many showers she had had this week. And there was no showers or no bathing this week. And I told him I wanted to see last week's and they couldn't seem to find it for me. So Monday morning, first thing I'm going in there and making sure I see both rosters. And I'm going to see if they've checked anything for Mama. And if they haven't, I'm going to tell them that it's ridiculous that I have to pay that much if they're not going to do their job. I should get a discount. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I was so mad yesterday. Now, y'all think I'm sweet, but when it comes to my mama, I sh I'm a horse's butt. I really am. I just, it makes me mad. So anyway, needless to say, I went in. I was already mad. Um, I took her to the ER. Uh, to me, if she'd been hurting that bad for two weeks, they should have contacted me or they should have upped her medicine or they should have sent her to the ER. And they haven't done any of that. They didn't bathed her. Give me a break. Anyway, um, May's doing good. She's in the bed. Uh, so that 
thing on her leg is just going to scar. It's mostly, like I said, a scrape and then a cut. And um, I don't know if y'all seen that on my personal side or not. Only those of you who are my friends, I think I posted it for friends. And some of y'all haven't asked to be my personal friends. So I don't know if you've seen it or not, but may I heard it work. So this morning, I had planned to come in last night and do all kind of stuff, and so I didn't get to. So this morning, I'm doing a menu for the week. I am boiling a chicken because instead of making the Benefield chicken that was on the menu, me and Chris, I think I had a migraine that day, and me and Chris had some leftover spaghetti um, and a salad that day. So I'm boiling a chicken this morning. Um, I'm going to make Benefield chicken with it. Um, I've got pintos cooking. Um, I'm going to do a menu. We've got to go and pick up a few things at the grocery. Uh, I never did show y'all my grocery tip trip last week. I need to put it on here. Um, oh, I got a couple of gifts in the mail. I was going to show y'all. All right, one is a letter from a guy who watches us on YouTube. And he sent money for a cookbook. And it says, I wanted to let y'all know my wife and I really enjoy both of y'all's YouTube channels. Y'all seem to compliment each other well. We hope y'all enjoyed your vacation. Look forward to the new cookbook. And as always, thank you for sharing. I know your daughters will treasure both the cookbooks and videos. Sincerely, Paul and Terry. It says, P oh, and then he... And then he wanted me to let him know I got his money. So I need to do that. Then I had another gift. Uh, that was just an order for a cookbook with a sweet note in it. All right, then I had a gift, and it says, I was watching your video about your meatloaf, cream potatoes, and peas. You were showing your nylon dish scrubber, and you said you liked it because you can run it through the dishwasher. Here is some scrubbies that I make for our church craft and bake sales that we have. I cannot crochet them as much as I would like to. It gives my wrist and hand troubles too much crocheting in my years past. Hope you like them. I have used them till they were thin and discolored and then I move on and, and use them in a sink and toilet, etc. Have a blessed day. Happy cooking, LaDonna. So wasn't that sweet? Look, they're different colors and they're real, uh, they're wonderful scrubbers. I love them. And these are going to last me because those other plastic ones I was showing y'all on my cooking show, they fall apart pretty quick. But these, and these are nice. I love them. Uh, too bad she has a hard time doing them or uh, maybe some of y'all could get some, right? They may have something like this for sale somewhere, but they sure are nice. So thank you, thank you, Paul and LaDonna. It's nice when you have a bad day to come home and get a present. <laughs> anyway, um, we've got to go get toothpaste. We're completely out of toothpaste. I've been using Chris's tube. We use, uh, and I know my bra showing, but I don't care. I'm working in the house. Um, we use... Um, not Sensodyne because it costs too much. We use the cheaper brand of toothpaste that's for sensitive teeth. Because me and Chris really scrub our teeth. We even use soft toothbrushes, but we do. And so, um, I always go to Dollar Tree, the actual Dollar Tree that sells things for a dollar, and I get their sensitive toothpaste because it's a dollar. I mean, if you buy Sensodyne, you're going to spend from $4.50 to like $7.50 for a tube of toothpaste. And as much as we go through it, that's just too expensive. So we got to go to the dollar store today. I need cotton balls and I need toothpaste. I've got to make my menu. And I'm really, this week, going to try to use more of what I got in the house for my menu than I did last week. Because last week I spent $198 on groceries. And I don't need to do that again. Uh, of course, all that wasn't just for my food. But still, I mean, you know. That's why you got to stay out of Walmart. I didn't even go to Walmart. I went to Aldi and spent that much. But you know what? If you go in Walmart, you pick up a towel or you pick up a shirt or you pick up a new pack of underwear and before, or you, you pick up a dog toy. You know what I mean? When I go down the dog aisle, they're like having babies, aren't they? Like, 
You know how fun it is to shop for a baby? It's that fun to shop for your pets.